breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. New hope. Buari drops bombshell. Speaks about releasing Unamdekano. What he said will make you wonder. New hope. Buari drops bombshell. Speaks about releasing Unamdekano. What he said will make you wonder. To my dear listeners, this is today's news. Muhammad Buhari, the current president, has sent a new message to the Southeast and in the Igbo in general with only 18 days to the much anticipated 2023 presidential election. Since Mazi Unamdekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, was in prison for over two years. The primarily Igbo speaking area of the southeast has not been calm, has not seen calm as security fears increased almost daily. However, According to a breaking revelation by the Daily Post, President Mohamed Buhari has reviewed what the late Umbazuli Kiyameji, First Republic Aviation Minister, informed him about Unam Dekanu, the IPOB leader. According to Buhari, Amechi told him that freeing Kano will restore peace and stability to the southeast. He remarked while prisoner Michi, Kwame called a patriot whose moral character Nigerians had to limitate for the stability and development of the nation. President spoke on Tuesday, February 7th, at an event called Edir of Tribute, held in Amechi's honor in Abuja. He was represented by the Minister of Labor and Employment, Chris Ngigi. The President related how Amechi hosted the late Nelson Mandela, President of South Africa, at his Lagos home. According to Buhari, Mandela took safety at Amechi's home after the South African government had proclaimed him wanted. Umbazuli Iki Amechi is an epitome of what every Nigerian leader should be aspiring to be, the president stated. He was a man of peace and he did everything possible to ensure that there is that there is unity and peace in every part of the country. The unconditional release of Kano will not only bring peace to the southeast, it will rebuild the trust of the people on your administration. Remember that in July of last year, the late Chief Mbazulike predicted that he, if president, Buhari had remained in office. Mazi Unamdekanu, the leader of IPOB, would have since been freed and a political solution would have been found for the group's disagreements with his administrations according to Vanguard. The late Amechi, however, claimed that a group of politicians, including some Hebrew and some non Hebrew, who are profiting from the unrest and crisis in the Southeast, do not want the issue to be resolved and have allegedly blocked all of his correspondence with the President regarding a course of action. 
The deceased also asserted that he is absolutely certain that President Buhari, who he claimed has a great deal of respect for, and personally demonstrated it when he and some Igbo leaders met with him in Abuja for a political resolution. Tumazi Unamdekanu's matter has been fed lies about Tumazi Unamdekanu and the agreement the Igbo leaders reached about the matter, adding that a specific Southeast governor personally informed him Amici that he felt the same way about the president. Amici told reporters in a chat that Mazio Namdekano's arrest and rendition sparked the security crisis in the southeast and that it will end on this freed. He urged President Mohamed Buhari to disregard the advice of some Indigo enemies and disgruntled Igbo politicians who have been spreading lies about the IPOB leader and Igbo leaders who organized peace meeting with him. Mohamed Buhari, the current president, has sent a new message to the Southeast and Indigo in general with only 18 days to the much-anticipated 2023 presidential election. Since Mazi Unamdekanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra Lipop was imprisoned for over two years. The primarily Igbo-speaking area of the Southeast has not seen calm as security fears increased almost daily. However, according to a breaking revelation by the Daily Post, President Mohamed Buhari has revealed what the late Mbazuli Kiamichi, First Republic Aviation Minister, informed him about Unamdekanu, the IPOB leader. Now, I've come to the end of all today's.